Hello everyone, I am the host of the YouTube channel Wing Yibo Ing Sub. Nice to meet you again. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. And here's today's news. Untitled is not out yet. Wang Yibo's new film was officially announced by CCTV. I want to cry when I see the release time. Watergate Bridge of Changin Lake, here and after referred to as Watergate Bridge. Although it is already an old film that has been released for 25 days, but still able to maintain the attitude of overlooking the heroes, so far, it has harvested 3.78 billion box office. Easily helped director Shui Hark to reach the top of the director box office list, bringing Chen Si Chung. Well, known directors such as Chin Kaiga were left behind, and the film's predicted box office has reached 4 billion. This is undoubtedly another representative work for Bona Films, and another spy war blockbuster nameless produced by Bona, it also gathered two male protagonists, actor Tony Leung and top, Notch Wang Yibo. In the trailer, Wang Yibo dressed in a suit and performed black humor, which also filled his expectations. Although the blockbuster no name has not been released yet, however, Another new film Peacekeeping and Anti-Riot Team starring the male protagonist Wang Yibo was officially announced by CCTV. And for the film with an introduction, the cast and production team are quite strong, will Bona hit another box office record? Popular themes with high, quality team. Peacekeeping and Riot Squad tells the story of our country's peacekeeping police riot squad and the execution of overseas missions. To take risks and use life and faith to maintain world peace. This time, the members of the Peacekeeping and Anti-Riot team will face even more difficult challenges. The Peacekeeping-themed films selected in the film have all become popular. For example, the purpose of the Wolf Warrior series and Operation Red Sea is consistent with the film. It is to expound the hardships of the Peacekeeping police in maintaining the safety of the people, and to pay tribute. Among them, Wolf Warrior 2 ranked second in the film and television list with a box office score of 5.69 billion. This kind of film can arouse the patriotic enthusiasm of the audience, and feel that the current life is hard, one, and the intention is particularly positive. And there will be a lot of thrilling action scenes in the film, can have an eye, catching effect. It makes you watch the movie inadvertently. The director of the film, Lee Da Chow has received widespread attention because of his excellent action direction. He served as the action director and participated in the production of Heroes of Fire. The box office of Chinese Captain and Chinese Doctor is quite impressive. Presumably this time the director of the new film will surprise everyone. And Peacekeeping and Riot Squad was shown on a branch and dubbed to be released in 2022. It can be considered to be keeping up with the hot situation, and seeing this time really makes me want to cry out of excitement. Confirmation of the appeal of traffic actors. But after all, the most high, catching thing about Peacekeeping and Riot Squad is the cast. Almost all the members are very popular traffic actors. So that the number of people who want to watch the film on a certain ticket has exceeded 170,000. In the case of not much publicity, this result is already good. Among them, the male protagonist Wang Jingyu has always been said to be a man serving military service in the entertainment industry. Because he has appeared in the image of a soldier too many times and every time he is very out of the circle. The sniper played by Wang Jingyu in Operation Red Sea, cooperates skillfully with teammates, with a focused expression with a unique sense of seriousness. You can't help but hold your breath in front of the screen and shoot with precision in the next second. The role of the sharpshooter is played extremely well, and Wang Jingyu once again appeared as a soldier in Ace Army. The acting skills are more presented, and they have been on the hot search for many times because of crying scenes. Not to mention the popularity of another male protagonist, Wang Nebo, because of the fire of Chen Chengling in 2019. Later, she collaborated with 85 Flowers Zhao Li Ying on Yufei. The Wind Rises in Luo Yang starring at the end of 2021 has also gained a lot of attention. In the 2, B, broadcast drama, Wang Nebo also has Ice Rain and Fire cooperating with Chen Xiao. In the preview of the play, Wang Nebo put on a police uniform to be particularly eye-catching. However, his experience in the film field is relatively weak. We can only hope that he will surprise everyone. There are also young actors such as Zhuang Chuxi, Gu Jia Chung and Zhao Huwa in the film. They are all good-looking, but playing the role of a police officer is a big challenge. From the casting, it is not difficult to see that Peacekeeping and Riot Squad focuses more on attracting young audiences. I want to knock on the door of the high box office by relying on the popularity of traffic actors. But in this type of film, casting like this is still quite rare. 
Wolf Warrior 2 is almost entirely propped up by Wu Jing alone. The fighting scene runs through the whole film, and there are occasional moments of tenderness. In contrast, the casting of Peacekeeping and Riot Squad is best at the actor's looks. And the fan base, if it's not particularly difficult for the movie to hit 1.5 billion at the box office, but if you want to sprint to 2 billion, it may be difficult. However, the film's test of the water is undoubtedly a major test of the box office appeal of traffic actors. Can streaming movies become mainstream? It may depend on the results of the film, but it is still more meaningful for the times. All in all, the film Peacekeeping and Riot Squad, in terms of topic selection, it is a big hit at the moment, and there is a director who has a high level online. The quality is also guaranteed, with the super, traffic lineup, the chance of a big explosion is very high but the extent of the explosion depends on the finished product. Finally, I hope that the film can be finalized as soon as possible, so don't make everyone cry.